G'day folks. This video I'm making some coloured acetal parts in the CNC lathe and I'm also using the manual lathe to make the blanks. This material is 45 diameter so it's too big to go through the hole in my headstock in the lathe so I'm just having to use the chuck and the uh, lathe centre to part off as much as I can and then finish it off using a handsaw. Here I'm using the DRO and the parting tool to virtually measure off the blanks that I want. Then I cut them off like this, courtesy of Mr Sandvik. And then once I've done that, I actually drill out the blanks to 17.5 using the manual lathe. In the CNC, I'm holding the blanks in a Pratt Bernard chuck, which is fitted with some soft jaws and this bore is to take some ball bearings and that insert is probably a Sumitomo AG insert. Now we'll just have a quick look at the cam going through a stock removal cycle with the boring bar and this is the finish pass and that's the finish pass there and you'll see there's a little lump left at the entry to the bore that's to help retain the bearings. Don't think that idea was mine, I think it was an idea of Old Foundryman's, whose YouTube casting channel you should check out sometime. Right, another can cycle, but this time it's an external can cycle. And here you can see how beautifully under control I have the chip flow. It's quite amazing. Gee, I'm good. Uh, or perhaps not. Mm. Oh well. Thank goodness we can use a air blow gun to try and keep it under control. Doesn't help much, but it does help a bit. Here you can see the profile being cleaned up by the initial pass, so that the final pass, when it comes, has a much more even surface to clean up. Here we're going at three times the screen speed. Try and make sure nobody falls asleep. This is what you get when you type 0 0.8 instead of 0 0.08 for your feed. And this is the actual finish pass of the can cycle for the outside of the part. And this is the simulation of the final pass of the can cycle of the outside of the part before we move on to parting. Parting was interesting. To get a decent finish I had to peck. Now anybody that's watched my videos knows I don't peck when I do a part. I find that in brass, steel and aluminium I get a much better parting finish if in fact I just make it one cut from the outside to the inside. If you hang on till the end of the video you'll see a photo of why I ended up pecking because uh, doing it without pecking did not work very well. Right I've just tapped that off as usual and now we'll just go for a run straight through of the machining with no simulation of the cam. You just get to see the program right the way through. So I'll give my croaky voice a bit of a rest for now and let you listen to the machine.
This was my first attempt at parting off and I didn't do any pecking. I can only assume the material was getting hot and started dragging or melting or I don't know. Anyway, worked much better with pecking. And this is the result I got with pecking. As you can see, it just looks like one continuous surface. And here's the finished product with a couple of bearings pressed in. So all done. Thank you for watching.